Hello and welcome to Ark, a complete series. If you're wondering who on earth this is, or even what this is, this is Iggy, and Iggy is an Ichthyonis. I was, I was pretty much part way through actually recording the video, and I'd actually get to the point where I'd actually tame Iggy up, um, when, <laughs> when I realised that the the frame rate settings coming from OBS were absolutely useless. And there was just no way I could possibly publish that uh, that video, so I've just basically I've had to spend most of the day actually getting OBS fixed. There was a there was a, a like an upgrade had come out. One of the key parts was um, to improve performance. It was supposed to really improve the encoding, and I thought I really want to put this off. I, I don't want to risk it because it'll probably just break things. And sure enough, it did. Um, I mean, the the recording results were absolutely horrendous. Uh, but I, I was just so far through the video that I, I didn't even notice. I just, for some strange reason, I think I just took it for granted that, that it was just working because it. I think it started off at the right frame rate and then it just kind of tanked and I just didn't notice. But anyway, um, what I was basically doing in this episode and what I'll just pick up from was that where I'd got to was off camera. I'd been doing some breeding of the Ankylos and the Dodicoruses. So I'd gone out in the previous episode and I'd tamed up some uh, some wild ones and then basically I'd, I'd bred them all together to give me like a, a male and a female that's, that had the best stats. They've, they've got like identical stats, the males and the females, so that when I breed them I'll get exactly the same stats and the idea is to just keep mutating them to improve them. But uh, I did manage to get myself some, some Ankylos bred. Um, it was really unlucky, I think, because it, it 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 was asking for all the sort of sort of things I had until it right up to the end. I mean, it was taking about an hour to to uh, to mature one of these baby ankylos, and it was right the, at the lit end, right at the last one when it decided to ask for superior kibble. So I thought that that that's it. I mean, that was that was just way too much wasted time. So I thought I better get myself some uh, some superior kibble and extraordinary kibble because they're the, they're the only things I don't have. Uh, and unfortunately that's one of the things it asked for so I'm not going to chance it this time I'm going to make sure I can make um, superior kibble as well as the uh, the extraordinary kibble I'm just going to get these eggs before I disappear off nope, nobody else has got any uh, uh, just come through, come through so basically what, I've, what I needed to, to actually get the superior kibble was the it was the sap from the, uh, the wood trees so if we go for Superior kibble, it's that one, because that one's just the augmented one that's unique to um, to extinction. Uh, this one here, as it says, you need sap. Now, I've actually got a lot of sap because I went out and collected some. So, let's see where did I dump all that. Yeah, that's all been dumped in there. So, what I'll do is we'll just head over to the Redwoods. Because basically what I did is I made myself one of these platform smithies. This is part of the, the mod... Uh, platforms plus it's by the same same author who made uh, structures plus uh, he, he put this together and it gives you bigger bigger platforms basically so I prefer those over the normal vanilla ones so basically what I did is I went all the way out here to the redwoods because the idea was to put in a, a platform onto the tree so I mean you can build yourself a base if you like uh, at this stage I'm just I just basically I just wanted to collect the uh, the actual sap to be honest, but um, there's only specific trees. It's these big, the big, uh, big thicker trees that you find in the in the redwoods. You've got to put taps into those. Uh, they're also the only ones that you can actually put the the actual platforms on as well. But you've got to be really careful out here because there are you get like little micro raptors uh, flying around. They can knock you off your RG. Uh, They'll, you know, render you unconscious for a short time. There are pelovias that jump out at you. There's, there's, oh, there's all sorts. But the real, uh, the real doozy is the, um, the thylacolios because they, they basically hang on to the actual side of these big thick trees. And if you're not careful, you could uh, next thing you know, one of those is pouncing out, flying through the air. Next thing you know, you know, you're heading straight to the ground with a a thylacolio on your face. And that's not a, not a nice experience by any stretch of the imagination. But anyway, I, I came out uh, out to here and I just put the, the actual uh, platform down here. Because I figured, I mean, we're reasonably close to the water there. So if I wanted to actually do anything here, I could then just run a pipe down there. 
but uh, what I then did is I put these taps in uh, quite expensive for the amount of metal that you needed for each one of them but we've put these taps in so you can get about four of them on a level so there's uh, yeah, four on this one um, I, can't remember, I think it was there's either you can either put this platform you could put another one either it was either lower down I think so you could run another one I can't, I can't remember if you could go any higher on this tree but the one thing you've got to remember is when you put these taps in is as soon as you put it into the actual tree actually go and open the inventory I mean there'll be nothing there to begin with but if you don't the next time you come back there'll be nothing in it at all and you'll be like scratching your head wondering well I, I'm sure that you know if I put this tap in is is there something wrong with the tree or something it's it's not it's just a I don't know it's just a feature so yeah put put the tap in and then check it have a look in the inventory you won't find anything come back and then the, these things just start producing sap so pretty easy to do but it's a, an easy thing to forget I, I did test it I was just curious to see if if that that this year had been uh, resolved, but it, it hasn't, because I I put three taps in, had a look in their inventories, put a fourth one in, and then I just left it alone. Came back, and there was sure enough, there was only three of them had any sap in. So we've now got the the actual sap that we can use to start making the superior kibble. But what we don't have is uh, a means to make the extraordinary kibble. Now for that, you actually need golden eggs, and you get those from the Hesperonis. Now, interesting, I, there is a, I know you can make another type of kibble from the Hesperonis, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, the Hesperonis also produces this golden egg. Uh, if you check the wiki, you'll see that it needs, it needs to eat 25 fish. Uh, once it's done that, you'll get a, a golden egg. So I don't see, I mean, unless you want to use it for the, for the other type of kibble, which you could do, then really you only need one of them. So that's the reason why I've got Iggy. Uh, I'm just. I think I'll head over in that direction because I might be summoned there. I'm really looking for from some saber tooth salmon. Probably better off heading towards the the green obelisk. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to head over to the green obelisk and then I'll bring you back because it's a it's a bit of a long way to go. But I want to have a look over there and see if there's a good supply of uh, saber tooth salmon. So I'll be back shortly. Okay then, so we're out here near where the, the blue beacon is because out here you can find Hesperonis. There's a one down there you can see, so it's a it's quite a good river to go and look. I mean, the only drawback is you get things like Spinos and T-Rexes and Thylacolios and Raptors. So you've got to bear that in mind, like, but you also find these Sabres Tooth uh, Salmon, which is better for if you want to, like, tame these... Um, little beasties. Trouble is I really want to get rid of these raptors. Ow, ow, ow. Shine a light. Oh, come on, I didn't pick you up. Oh, come on. But I mean, to get the, um, to actually get yourself an ichthy, it's pretty easy. I mean, you just, just have a look around and see if you can find one that's, um, on the ground. I, I find them harder to bowl when they're flying. And if you aggro one of those as well, I'm just trying to find the other one. If you aggro one of them, the problem is then they'll start stealing off you. Uh, they can cause you to drop things, or they'll literally take them off you, and then you've got to go chasing after them. But uh, once you knock them out, it's just a matter of feeding them fish. I mean, ideally, if you can get them prime fish meat, the taming will go a lot better. But, I mean, you don't really need a, a you know, like a high level, like Ichthyo, you don't need a like a perfect tame at all or anything like that. It's just a matter, you just need something to go and get these uh, special type of fish for you. Because what they do is they'll go out and they'll pick them up. Oh, I'm just mindful of like the uh, uh, stamina here. Well, his stamina switch there. Yeah, you basically you go out and you set one of these to go out after, say, like a fish for instance. And it'll come back with a, a fish that's got a, like a glow on it. And then you can use that if you can actually feed. Oh no, there's a little monkey down there. You can um, you can feed that to the um, to the Hesperonis. You can also use them if you want to start taming the uh, the, the, the 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 otter as well. It's uh, it's a good great way to tame otters. Now I'm just going to clear this place out because I'm basically I, I don't want anything badgering me while I'm trying to tame 
I'm assuming this Hesperonis is still around, to be honest, but it might have been eaten by the Spino for all I know. It was around here a minute ago. Uh, where have you gone? Uh, I'm not seeing it. I'm gonna. Oh, there it is, down there. Is that down there? No, it's not. That was a stone. <laughs> I think my eyes. I think my eyes are going. Um, I'm gonna have a look around, but I specifically came out here just for the sake. I want to be able to. I want to be able to get uh, fish fairly easily, and then I can feed them to the Hesperonis. And I'd rather be using the 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 actual salmon, the saber tooth salmon, rather than normal fish. I mean, the work. It's just that the um, the percentage taming that you get is very low if you if you like go and get. Uh, just normal fish. So that's why I'm quite keen to come out here and find one, because then I can get uh, get these saber-toothed salmon, and it should go a lot quicker. It doesn't matter what um, what your taming effectiveness is for that Hesperonis. You don't need a high-level one or anything. You just need one that you can then uh, need to go and get uh, fish with. As long as you just feed that one fish, you're fine. But I think I might have to clear this area out, but uh, let's have a look. Anything else out here wanting to eat my face? I think we're okay while these... Um, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to clear this place out. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to pause the video there because I'm, I'm going to spend a while clearing this area out first. So I'll be back shortly. Well, I don't know where the ducks have gone. There was, there was at least two of them wandering around somewhere. They've just disappeared. I mean, I've had to take like a T-Rex out and a big Bronto in the process, but... Uh, I mean, there's a there's a couple of little lotters out down here, so... I mean, that's not exactly what I had in mind, but I think I'll... Uh, I'll get Iggy here to go and get myself a fish while I'm here. See if I can find a saber-toothed fish, because once you've tamed them, they're easy enough to to use. You just basically tell them to go and collect a fish. Oh, that's is that a piranha? Oh, go away! Go get that piranha. I don't like it. Bring it back. So you see how it's bringing back a like a, a big glowing fish. You drop that for me. Thank you very much. So we drag that over, and it's the same whether it's the Hesperonis or the Otter. I just need to find out where the heck they're bleeding not is it? Oh, there's an Otter over there. Because, I mean, these ones are little low-level ones, like ones like level 15, the other one's 20. Ow, ow! You better not have stole my fish. It has, it's stolen my fish, you swine. Right, I'll get again, I'll get that one again. But yeah, it's just a matter of basically dragging the fish over to the to the otter or the Hesperonis and off you go. And then you just have to feed it. Go and get that one then. I I gotta bring it back. Oh there's another oh, there's another blooming piranha over there. Come here, drag it over here. Thank you. I just find it a bit easier to aim, that's all, if I've got, like, um, something with a crosshairs in it. Yeah, come here. Right, so what, what did that get you? Anything? Something? Oh, piranhas! Where's, uh, Iggy? Come here. You just have to kind of be mindful because of all the things that are around here. Come here, mate. Get over here. Oh, that thing's running. That's not never a good sign. Right, come here. I need you to go and get another fish for me, mate. Ideally, that annoying bleeding piranha. Oh, whoa, whoa! Before I choose my face off. Oh! Oh, that's not good. That sounded like a T-Rex. We're running. Ow! 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 Ooh, this doesn't sound good. Ooh, man, that was close. That was too close for comfort. <laughs> I just heard that thing roar, and it's like, oh, it's truth, right. Right, I, I can see me, I'm going to have to clear this area again, because I, I just got rid of a level 84 Blumen Tech Rex. 
Now I'm going to have to get rid of that one. Right, I shall be back surely. <laughs> well, the little otter went uh, running away somewhere. I don't know where it's gone to. I think it might be around here somewhere. Oh, there's, oh, there's, there, there's one there. Hopefully there isn't a piranha here because I'm getting my face chewed off by piranhas. Uh, oh, no. Come here. Where have you gone? Where's it gone? Oh, where, where has that otter gone? There it is. No, no, where have we gone? This is a trouble when you're dragging these big bleeding fish around. You struggle, you struggle to find the actual otter. <laughs> come here! Aha! We've got ourselves an otter! Right, come here. Let, let's get out of this area quickly. So basically all you're doing is you're just dragging the actual fish over to the otter. It's it's a lot easier because I know what than the last time I did it. The first time I did it, I would um, drag the fish, and by the time you caught up to the otter, you'd get close to the otter, and you you, you kept flipping between like, you know, feed the otter and um, drop the fish. So I think they fixed that and they made it a lot easier. Now now I notice I could just literally go right up to the otter and uh, feed it the fish straight away. What I did this time, I actually got um, Iggy here to. Uh, to get me a an actual uh, saber tooth salmon, so it's, 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 it's it is quite easy to be honest. I mean, the uh, if you've got the crosshairs, I find it's a lot easier. So make sure you've got something that you can you can use, like whether it's got crosshairs, like a crossbow or a. I think you can use a rifle under. You can't actually use a rifle as such, but you can still point with it. But if I basically like double tap the F button. You saw there, Iggy got, went out there and picked up that uh, saber-tooth salmon. Now it'll bring it back to me. And then it'll drop it off for me. And the good thing is, even if you don't want to use it to feed the, uh, you know, something like an otter or something. You'll be able to get, um, like, prime, you know, things like prime fish meat, for instance. Which is good. You can even get it to pick up a, a dodo, for instance, and get prime meat from it. I'll leave that on you, mate. Right, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to get Iggy to follow me, because I haven't seen any more uh, Hesperonis out here. But I think I might get this little lot of back to... Um, back to base, then I'll come back here and start searching for a Hesperonis. So, I shall see you shortly. Right then, so I've dropped Oswald off at base. We're on uh, just on the side of where the um, uh, the green beacon is. So this leads out to uh, that area we were at before, and there are some Hesperonis around here. So that's where we are at. If you just kind of like follow the river up and then back down again, you'd, you'd uh, go back to where we were. But I've just stopped here because I noticed there's quite a few ichthy, uh, not ichthys, uh Hesperonis over here, but. Oh, <laughs> there's all sorts of other things out here, which is not what I need. So I'm going to clear this place out first, and uh, I'll bring you back. Right then, so we finally got rid of our of our T-Rex. Now I'm just trying to see which one's which, because I think this is just a... There's one of these is a low-level female. Right, so... Oh, Struth, now there's a blooming Carno over there. Yeah. I don't know if that, uh, it's up against... Uh, I can't remember what those are, what those are called, but it's uh, yeah. Don't fancy its chances. Right, let's see if I can find a. F oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! That's not what I want. Ow! Oh, I got. I already got had my chewed face by uh, over the other place. I don't. I don't need any more of that. I've had to repair all my, all my armor. It's true. Right, let's see if we can do some. Uh, do something about this Hesperonis, because they can get quite aggressive if you get too close to them, I must admit. Right, okay, so... Right, come here. Let's see if we can find another... Another one out here, because there was some, um... There was definitely some Sabertooth out here at some point. Go get that Piranha. Uh, actually, I'll drop that. Uh, where have you gone? Come here. Go get that one while we're on. 
you bring that back here. Right, is that the is that the female that we were after? That's a trouble. It's wandering off. Yeah, it's just gone over there. Alright, see if we can get that without getting our face chewed off by a bleeding piranha. No, nope, it's coming after me. Oh, this is not good. That thing was getting chased by something as well. Right, okay. Let's try again. Ho hopefully that piranha won't come off. Um, hang on a minute. Um, where's Iggy gone? Come here, mate. These don't. These things don't last that long, to be honest. But the right. Come here. I need to get rid of this blooming piranha, wherever it's gone. Uh, I don't know where it's gone to. We're at the duck. I want. I really. I'm more interested in sort of like uh, feeding the duck. Where have you gone? Oh, so that's one there. Yeah, it would go a lot better if I had. Um, Uh, oh, I've got to wait for its next feed, do I? Yeah, it would go a lot better if I had the, the saber tooth salmon like, but... Quit wandering away, will you? Yeah, they can get quite aggressive though, that's the trouble. If you get too close to them, they suddenly start uh, getting into a bit of a... You know, a bit of a temper. Nope. Nope, still doesn't want anything. Let's try again. Hey! Well, that wasn't too bad. And that's all there is to it, to be honest. You just basically just get your Rickthy to go and get the fish. So, I mean, I'm either getting salmon or I'm getting... Um, actually, I'll, uh, I'll drop you. You can, you can come on, follow me. Right, so I'll pick this one up. Right, so yeah, it's nothing out here. I'm just gonna head back to base, and because I basically I don't want to have both of these with me, and uh, then we'll go out and get this um, this Hesperonis fed, and then we can start getting ourselves some some eggs. So I'll, I shall see you shortly. Okay, so I've taken the. Um, I've taken Iggy, Iggy back to base, but as I was saying, I mean, if if you want to get one of these Zikthys, that's the best time to catch them because that was that one was just literally walking along the ground, so that's usually the best time to to just basically bowl of them. You got to be a bit careful because they they don't have much health on them, and so it's a case of you know you best want to take them out with uh, tranquilizer darts. But I've got Hetty here because that's what I've called her. And obviously, I did have to go and get myself a female, <laughs> obviously, because I need I need eggs. Uh, I don't know if there's any decent fish out here. I think I'll just head back to the green, uh, the green obelisk. Because the trouble is, I would have gone over here where you see that little that uh, loot crate down that's come down there. I would have probably just gone and done some fishing down there. But the trouble is, the um, the area's crawling with uh, with alpha raptors. Uh, around here you're up against, well, I think there's usually things like Titan Boas, uh, you've got uh, Capros come out every now and again, and now we've got an Alpha Carno as well, so kind of reluctant to hang around here. Uh, I mean, I could try it, I suppose. There's nothing going to start heading for us. <laughs> See if I can find... Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Right, let's see. Let's drop this. Uh... Where's she gone? Oh, you ended up over there. Right. Okay, uh... right. So if I can put her on. I think I was a piranha. Go and get the piranha. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, 
that's just crazy to see how much that thing just uh, it, it actually I, I can't believe that that's got to be that cannot be right <laughs> that's a lot right uh, let's I'll give you some more health right it doesn't the thing is I mean the, the, the thing with the ixi is you can basically put it on hunt and retrieve it starts off on like a default setting of hunt and, I, and then basically what you can do is while it's on your shoulder you can just literally just double tap the F key and it'll go out and uh, look for you know it'll go and attack your, your target it's not the same with the um, with the Hesperonus unfortunately where's she gone? oh there you are right are you on attack my target are you? yeah you are you're on attack my target right see that thing there? oh I've already killed it there you go. So she's gone. And, she's gone and eaten that fish anyway. So that's good. She's um, anything that anything that you kill, or anything I attack, she'll go and she'll go and eat it. And the idea is, I need, I need twenty. I, need, I think I'm sure it was like twenty-five fish. As long as she eats about twenty-five fish, what will happen is, um. Once she's done all that, she'll then come back and uh, she'll head to the to the shoreline, and then she'll uh, she'll lay a golden egg. So I'm just gonna have to keep basically getting out of eat fish. So I'll be back shortly because I, I don't think there's I probably end up, I think I'm just gonna end up heading for the um, for the green beacon because there's there's not that much around here except that blooming alpha up and that alpha carno over there. So yeah, I'm gonna head over to the green beacon and I'll bring you back. Haha, -ha, we finally got ourselves a golden egg. Just pick you up. So that lasts for about half an hour, that's okay. So basically, I mean I came out here to I think it's like we're down where a stonehenge was. I figured this would be a bit safer to be honest. I mean I've gotten some aggro from things like um from the piranhas for instance but basically I've either where, where I can I've just set the uh, the Hesperonus on the fish uh, or if I have if I have any trouble I just basically I'm, I'm just shooting it with a crossbow because the, the Hesperonus is on attack my target so that works as well now I can't see a blooming thing because it's so dark <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay here I think uh, for now it's raining it's dark I have no idea where I'm going but yeah we're we're out down here down there uh, does I say west you can see like stone hinges over there so I mean it's another relatively safe place but it's a case of I mean there are you, you can build up like pretty sophisticated areas you know you can build like buildings um, for instance in these water areas um, basically Louis, you can have like your Hes like a Hesperonis in there, uh, not necessarily just the one, but you can have quite a few of them. You could then lure like fish, you know, using maybe like uh, rare flowers or I think there's a was it's a Pachyrhinosaurus, I think it is. You could basically get them to lure the fish into a into a uh, little trap area. Have your Hesperonis on on aggressive and then basically it'll attack everything all the fish that's in that area and that that's a quicker way of doing it I suppose or it just depends because I mean I'm, I'm only doing it basically because I I want the kibble and um, there's gonna be some oh, that looks a bit weird that like uh, effect up there that looks looks really weird but there's gonna be some I mean I need, I need some of the kibble for for imprinting but I'll need some of some of it now for actually taming the thylacolios. I mean, before I would have just getting some titanoboas, uh, getting their eggs and made the made the kibble from them. But now I need I need the extraordinary eggs to make um, uh, the extraordinary kibble. I should say to tame thylacolios as well. So I mean, it's dark, it's raining. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head back to base and then I'll I'll bring you back. Well, we've managed to get back to base in one piece, so that's a good thing. Um, we've now got ourselves a constant source of sap which means we can now start focusing on making superior kibble because it's just a matter of going back to the redwood forest uh, on a regular basis to collect the sap from the tree there 
and uh, yeah, then we can just use the Argentavis eggs and you know a few other ingredients to make uh, the actual superior kibble. But the extraordinary kibble, I mean, we've we've now got uh, Hetty over there, a Hesperonis, who can you know she can lay golden eggs, but there's still a piece that's missing for the extraordinary kibble recipe I've noticed. Uh, if we just go and have a look at that, uh, it's a little blue one down here. Now that's saying we also need uh, giant bee honey. Now, I mean, there's a few options. You can actually go and you can actually go to a beehive and you can get uh, the honey yourself. I mean, ideally, you'd go there using the you know the ghillie armor and um, you know spritz yourself with the um, the bug repellent. But um, I think what I'll do in the next episode is I'll I'll go and get myself a dire bear because it it gives me something something else to do in the game because there's there's quite a few sort of like dinos that have been kind of made obsolete I think because of this kibble overhaul but uh, because the, the the dire bear is one of these where it's got like a unique ability it can it can go out and uh, harvest honey from from the beehives it doesn't cause any damage you're safe um, so it's just like a timer. So it would just be a matter of going out to a beehive, and there is actually one quite close here. Go out to that beehive, harvest the honey, and um, it'll get more honey than I would have done if I'd have just gone and collected it myself. I mean, you can you can actually tame up the giant bees, I suppose. That's an alternative, but I've, I've done that in a previous sort of like playthrough. That's the normal way I've done it, but then they introduced this ability for the dire bears to actually collect honey. So I think that's, I think that's the preferred way I'd rather do it uh, now. So yeah, that's that's something to think on for the next episode. But um, I think realistically, you know, having a Hesperonis, you know, where it takes like twenty-five fish um, to be able to produce a single egg, I think it's going to be that's going to be a real pain. So I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Iggy out, and uh, we're going to tame up a few of these Hesperonis, uh, build ourselves a trap out there wherever I can find a, a pretty good supply of fish. And then it'll be just a matter of just like luring these um, fish into the trap, and then getting a, a few Hesperonis to actually feed on them. So then I'll get a f you know quite a few more um, golden eggs. I think that's going to be more practical than uh, just having a single Hesperonis. But uh, yeah, I mean it's it's easy enough done. I mean once you get yourself an ichthy, I mean they 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 are really pretty easy to tame as long as you just try and bowl them while they're on the ground. Because uh, then they're less likely to aggro you and start stealing things from you, so they're they're pretty easy enough to to get. And then it's just a matter of just setting them on the on a fish to get your uh, your glowing fish. And then you you can just basically feed them, you know, to your Hesperonis or your your uh, actual otter down here, for instance. So I mean, hey, I mean, you, you can't turn down an otter. I mean, I mean that's that's just such a cute little face. <laughs> but um, I mean, the, one of the re real reasons why I'd want an otter is because I mean, if you look at my uh, you know insulation here, we're on about eight eighty three seven thirty one. We we'll just pick him up. I mean, it's 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 a lot better now, and that's just a case of what you can do is you can use these to go out to the colder areas. So like there's a there's like a snow biome. Well, not so much a biome. There's a a snow area up in the north, for instance. Um, I mean, I've got. 30 fortitude and even if I go out there with with the actual um, uh, fur armor it's still not quite enough but having one of these little dudes around your neck I mean that really helps uh, protect you from the cold so just pop him back over there I mean at the moment I'm just cooking up all those fish because the fish will um, it uh, it spoils too quickly so I'm cooking it so that way it'll last longer see how that's doing yep yeah, still all cooking up I'll just keep that in the refrigerator for all them lot, because that's what they need. They 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 all want to eat fish. But the Hesperonis egg that I've got, I'm I'm quite pleased with that. I mean, it, I think it had like a half hour time li uh, limit on it, so it was going to spoil in about half hour. Now it's up to about well well over a day. But I, I think it's just a matter of tr you know trying to find a decent way to produce them on a more on a more industrial scale, shall we say? But anyway, that's it uh, for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed watching it. If so, then do please leave a like, because that will help me out a great deal. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content, then yeah, do please subscribe. Uh, just remember to click the little bell icon, though, because that way you get notifications for when new content comes out. And if you've got any comments, any suggestions, want to leave any feedback, 
and please post that in the comment section below. But until the next episode, thanks very much for watching. Bye!